how thin of a thread you can get, how microscopic your thread could be, almost thin enough to sew pants. And you do that and you challenge yourself to see how long you can make a cheese string last until you eventually get frustrated and just shut it in at all. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to this installment of A Casual Little Picnic with your guy, Hoodie Noir or Black Hoodie. So today I just wanted to come at you with like a, a more chill vibe of just like a nice little normal lunch, you know, not so heavy on all the crazy, amazing, insane foods. Like these are delicious foods. They're just, it's a more standardized, just everyday human food, you know, some vegetables, some cheese strings, like when you were in elementary, some of these, you know, very classic sandwiches in triangle shapes and coleslaw as well um so yeah i just want to vibe out with you guys kind of just keep it more chill have a little casual picnic vibe and uh just chat talk about some stuff and uh just just be easy you know what i mean just be easy now that said before we do anything more we must pour we've got the nice fresh ice of course and we're throwing more curveballs today Yes, yes, folks. It is early in the day. It is around lunchtime, and I am needing a little boost in energy, a little caffeine. I got a lot of editing and emails and, um, you know, optimizing things, looking to make things better for my life in terms of music and podcasting. And um, this is something that they never tell you when you get into this, this whole game of basically... Um, pursuing all these different creative things online and different social media outlets and whatnot is that it is a shit ton of juggling like juggling different platforms juggling uh, emails juggling uh, pitches to brands juggling your, your editing your uploads juggling just everything it's a lot of self-discipline but I'm completely okay with it I would rather work really really hard for myself to build my own life than to clock in and answer to a boss so uh you know i'm at that point in my life where i've pretty much established that as my life now i've broken out of society to some degree and that is because of you whoever you are who's clicked whoever you are who's supported anything that i've ever done whoever you are that uh you know has just shown a vested interest in me to any degree that's because of you so thank you very much now i mean i've put in a lot of work for that too but you know, it's a give and go system, but I really appreciate your being here to allow me the freedom to pursue a life in my creative endeavors that uh, is very, very like rewarding and fulfilling to me. So just uh, just thank you to all of you uh, from the bottom of my heart. For real, I, I really do appreciate you. Now, if, if, you live, if you live on planet Earth, you know about these sandwiches. These are like, you know, gas station, hospital, grocery store, which where I just was actually and uh, it's around noon and I could tell that they were fresh as pho. So I don't know, like a nice little egg on the egg salad on soft and a fresh turkey. It just got me and then I got to thinking, I'm like, let me have a few veggies. Let me just relinquish all need to do an insane video and just come on and just jam and vibe and chill with my people. So that's what we're doing. I know I'm chatty Cathy right now, but it is what it is. You guys, what is the nostalgia on a cheese string though? Cheese strings are such like a amazing classic memory for me. Let's get this guy out the docking station. There you go. For some reason, this feels very Japanese to me. Do you know what I mean? I feel like in Japan, they do a lot of like these almost like cute packaged type foods, you know? But I think in Japan, it's maybe just a higher quality i feel like japanese people execute the like quick and easy food aspect of life maybe better than we do all right so the first thing that actually triggered this for me in the grocery store was this sandwich right here i just love a nice egg salad sandwich with those green onions in there on a nice piece of white bread can't go wrong mm. You legitimately don't even need teeth to eat this type of sandwich. Which is probably why it's always at church meetings and in hospitals.
Hashtag old people. I'll be there one day too. Pickle with the sandwich. Perfect match. These are dill pickle. Not bread and butter. But if we were to be being accurate with being old and eating these sandwiches, they should be bread and butter. I feel like old people love bread and butter pickles. Love me a good Red Bull. Some carrots. And a ranch. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I do like vegetables. I understand where you're coming from. I feel like a lot of people think for some reason because I eat like a psychopath on the internet that those are the only foods I love and that I eat like trash like all the time. Which is a fair statement to make because I do upload a lot of videos, so therefore I do eat a lot of trash. I'm right there with you. But here's the thing about the internet you only see X amount of things, and then you perceive and create a narrative in your mind based on what you see. Just remember that when the camera's off, people have sense about them. People live normal lives. People eat different foods than what you just see on camera. A lot of the times, the food that we're eating on camera is for the camera. It's, it's for the people to click into because that's what's going to get like this meal right here will get much less views because it's not over the top it's standard it's like what a normal human being who goes to work would pack for lunch and in mukbang Just people, it's always, you're just always trying to top your last video or you're trying to top what somebody else is doing like in the market and um, there's people just taking it to the craziest places, the places it never needed to go. Like we never had to watch somebody eat like a live squid. We never had to watch somebody eat a 15 pound lobster. Do you know what I mean? It's just people took it to places that are insane, but I mean, that's the way of the world. The world always works like that and everything sports business. Like it's just every, people are always going to try to do some crazier thing than the next. So I, it's completely fine with me. Like turkey cheese and lettuce, by the way. I understand that that's the way of the world. I just kind of ruin things for other people who don't want to be so ridiculous. Like, but I mean, that's why I'm doing this video today because I just thought to myself, like, some days. Instead of trying to chase, like, the dragon, like, you're just chasing your video, like, every day you want to make your videos seem, like, crazy and appealing and so delicious, and some days you just have to let go and accept that this, this video will get 5,000 views. 
and instead you just come and you have a good time with your people. And that's what it is today for me. And you all can relate to this food. Who hasn't had a cheese string in their life? You know what I mean? If you haven't, I feel bad for you, and I feel like you should. Also, why is this one defective? I'm not excited about that. These are a next fancy brand called, like, Mootsa Mootsa with an OO like a cow. Haha. <laughs> but they spiral like a corkscrew. And I don't really love it. I like the classic ones that are just straight down. You can get such a better razor thin peel. And I already know this. I don't even have to ask it. I know that those of you who love cheese strings and have eaten them many a time in your day during the process of eating one have challenged yourself to see how thin of a thread you can get. how microscopic your thread could be like this one right here almost thin enough to sew pants and you do that and you challenge yourself to see how long you can make a cheese string last until you eventually get frustrated and you're just shoving it all that right there is a narr is a complete narr narration of a cheese stringer's life. Everybody who's eaten a cheese string has done what I just talked about. So we're connecting. Have you eaten coleslaw with a spoon though? Probably not. I can honestly say it's not the best, most effective method for it. But it's all I had near me at the moment. So it's just got to be a thing. Mm hmm. Loves me a good coleslaw. For sure. Okay. Let's head over back into the egg zone. Mmm. So good. Out of all the things here on this board. The egg sandwich is doing the most so much so I might have to save it for the final final bites just a heads up for you I never make mention of my music here enough, even though that's something that is big in my future plans here. Dreams, goals, and all this stuff. Um, I have a big change coming soon in my life that's going to allow me to pursue that much, much more and show you guys a ton more. So that's definitely coming for sure. 
I'm also learning how to be strategic and methodical in my releases of my music and doing it properly. Now, I already released a song here on YouTube because I just sometimes when I have a song, I get antsy and I feel like I need to put it out. So I put it out, Devil for My Soul, a bunch of you have heard it. Amazing feedback, amazing support, amazing likes and stuff. And for me to drop a song and get like five, six, seven thousand views is like, that's, that's good for me right now. Um, the problem with that is that it was only available to listen to on YouTube. It's coming out on February 21st, uh, on Friday, and I will leave the, the pre, there's like a pre-save link or whatever, so you can either go pre-save it, buy it for $1.29 or whatever on Google Play or iTunes or uh, whatever, Spotify, but uh, I'm not supposed to be eating this one because it's so good. If you're interested in supporting that track in any way, you enjoy it, or you just want to go help me get some streams on Friday when it drops on Spotify, then I will be leaving the link, the pre-save link, in, I'll pin it in the comments. and any support on it, be it just streams, or if you purchase it for like, I think it's a dollar, is namaste, you know what I mean? So, as time moves on here and I progress forward and kind of get my shit together a little more, In relativity uh, to, to to music and properly releasing and things like that. I'll give you guys who you know are interested in it and enjoy my music and that to more of a heads up and ways to go about getting that music where where it's going to be how you can get it all that stuff additionally to that too uh, yesterday I made two different like podcasts one for ASMR and one for my normal videos and uh Basically, it's just going to be all my videos retroactively and the ones that I'm working on now. The audio from all my videos going forward will be released in like podcast format. And you can go listen to them, you know, on a streaming player where you can be doing other shit on your phone. That's the one thing I know about YouTube. The YouTube app is like, you can't listen to one of my videos and then be on Instagram or something like that. Do you know what I mean? So in this case, not only will I be able to reach a new audience in the podcast land of people, for you guys, for those of you who would like to just, because I know there's people who just listen to my audio for sure while they're doing other stuff in their house or even maybe like you could literally be, literally be riding the bus on the way to work and have like on SoundCloud or Spotify you can now just listen to my videos and then be like on Instagram or Googling things or you know just doing something else that is the problem 
with the bitch ass YouTube app is that it makes you stay on YouTube in order to hear to continue to have the video going. So that to me is annoying. So I have two. I have one Hoodie Noir ASMR. It's on Spotify. All that shit. And then the other one is called Muckcast. Like a podcast, but a Muckcast because it's basically just my, my Muckbang audio. So those exist now. And I will link them as well. All right, like I said, you guys ever do that? I always have the quandary of do I eat it all first, like the best for first, because it's so delicious? And risk being too full that at the end, it doesn't taste as good? Or do I save it for last, because it is the best? And finish on a high note. In this instance, because it wasn't a heavy meal, It's a high note, best for last. Shout out whoever made that egg sandwich at that grocery store. It was also a good, good egg salad. Very, very good. Well, there it is. There you have it, folks. A more pedestrian mukbang. A more chill picnic friendship vibe convo. And, uh, you know, no attachment to outcome or results. Just doing it for the love of the game. All right. I enjoyed that one. Hope you enjoyed that one. Until the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Check the links in the description for my new song coming out February 21st on Friday. And stay true. Peace.